Empresses, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through my natural hair deep conditioning wash day process, which is typically an all day process from start to finish because my hair is super duper thick. So just to give you guys a little bit of background, I have been natural since about 2013-2014 and I did do a big chop which was completely by accident y'all so I'll definitely have to do a story time about that later but I've always had a perm since I was 5 years old and I've also always had a hairstylist so I never was properly educated on how to take care of my natural hair so until this day I'm still learning how to take care of it so because my hair is super duper thick and exhausting before washing my hair I'm just sectioning out and completing the detangling process now that my hair is all clean I will be completing a hot oil treatment using a couple of different oils that I have. I have the Wild Grow and I'm going to be mixing different oils into it such as the Black Castor Oil, the Olive Oil, also I have some Grapeseed Oil and I have some Carrot Aloe Oil and I also have Avocado Oil and with these different oils you guys um, it just helps promote stronger hair moisturizes my hair because it gets dry almost immediately and also with the carrot aloe oil I'm using that to protect and soften my hair shafts and with the avocado oil that promotes longer stronger healthier hair and it also helps to protect my hair from any sun damage so I will be combining all of the oils into this bottle and we will be completing a hot oil treatment Now I'm going to let the bottle sit for about 8 to 10 minutes and then we'll be putting it onto the scalp. Just make sure that it's not too hot when you take it out of the water. Now you guys, I will be going in with my Jamaican black castor oil leave-in conditioner and I'm going to be sectioning out my hair and putting this all through the sections and with this, I love leave-in conditioner you guys because who in the world got time to be washing your hair and then putting in conditioning, letting it sit and then washing it out and then doing this and doing that. No, with my hair it definitely soaks up water so once I'm done washing it I want to be done with the water so I'm finding me any type of leave-in conditioner that I feel as though will be good for my hair and we is going to put that on our hair. And what I usually do is I'll section it off and then I will put my hair in twists and then we're going to sit and let that deep conditioner a uh, deep conditioning for about one hour. Thank you. 
Now that my hair has finished deep conditioning, I'm gonna go in with my Thermo Shield heat protectant. And you guys, whether I'm blow drying my hair or straightening my hair, I always use a heat protectant before I put any heat to my hair. Yes, I'm natural. Yes, I barely know what I'm doing with my natural hair. I still wanna protect it. So I start off by using that first, and then I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer and I'm gonna blow dry out the sections that I created when I did my twist and I'm going to ensure that all the sections are completely dried and blowed out to my liking. Y'all, this is weighing me out. <laughs> Tell me in the comments below, like, do you prefer to just go and get your hair done or do you try to work with your hair? Let me know. My hairstylist is currently living in Florida and I'm in a different state right now, so I have to make it do what it do. But y'all, trust me, if I was in her presence, that's exactly where I would be. So now before I get started straightening my hair, I'm just going to go through and of course make little sections and then I'm going to use my comb so that way I can chase my comb with my flat iron so I can get my hair as straight as it can be. And usually I like to do this process. Y'all remember back in the day how we used to, when we had a perm, we used to get a rat. We used to get what a bang wrap. I used to get those all the time, you guys. So when I don't have my hair in a protective style like braids or a weave, I just try to go ahead and wrap my hair and just leave it alone.
So now that my hair is all straightened, I am just combing it out real good because I will be snipping my own ends. Again, I usually have my hairstylist do this process. And you guys, my hair was actually a lot longer than this. But in February, I don't know why, but after she washed my hair, she went to snipping my ends. And that don't work for natural hair, at least for my natural hair. It has to be blow dried out straight before you can snip the ends because I have a lot of shrinkage. So it actually made my hair a lot shorter. So I'm just going in just to snip off any dead hair or any uneven hair and just making sure that it's all straight. I am making sure that I'm very careful just because I never ever cut my own hair. I usually have someone do this for me. But again, because my hairstylist is not in the same state as me I'm just going in just to ensure that I'm clipping off the uh, dead hair and just ensuring that my hair stays healthy And with my hair, you guys, with my ends, I maybe need my ends clipped maybe three times a year. Other than that, my hair does perfectly fine just with my ends being clipped and it being in protective styles. Like, my hair will grow like weeds. So, I do this a couple of times a year and it really just helps my hair to grow a whole lot quicker. Whew, what a process, you guys. This was literally an all-day job. I'm finally wrapping up my hair and leaving it alone until it's ready for the next protective style. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me, Kingdom. And you guys already know, if you enjoy videos like that, definitely support the journey by smashing that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, like and share this video, and I will see you next time. Bye, you guys.